Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play Jade Empire. We have recruited a very dashing rogue and a completely and totally bonkers mad scientist. He likes to blow things up. Speaking of blowing things up, so do I. Oh. Alright. Don't mind me, Don Star. Book stand. Several years after Mad Fong's first successful flight, a scholar from the south discovered the unusual device known simply as the inscrutable power source. A few years later, scholar Xu Wen came up with a design for a flyer that used this mysterious new device. Initial attempts bordered on an apocalyptic, in one case destroying half of a mountainside, and the village that lay below. Several scholars tried to outlaw the use of this strange new energy source, but Xu Wen continued his experiments until at last he was successful. Unfortunately, his prototype was too successful. Both he and the fly took off at great speeds towards the north, and neither was ever seen again. And that was the history of Flight Volume 3. Ooh, I gained strength of wood. Another hidden bonus. Add to my stats. Always good. I like ye. Right. Have a wander out here. Anything else for me to break with my feet? Aha. Ooh. I wonder why somebody put a charm in a bonsai tree. It's a puzzle. Right. Let us get the hell out of here. We have more pressing matters. Now that Gao's dead, always a good thing. Hello, boys. Hey! Ha <laughs> ha! Much kicking and such. It really gets the blood flowing. And explosions. Lots of blood flowing from those too. Always a good thing. I replaced the dust inductor. The marvelous dragonfly will cross the sky at your whim for a short way. The heavens welcome my machines, but not without considerable cajoling. If you want to fly more than a short distance, I will need an inscrutable power source. Oh, look at what I have. I just pull it out of my invisible pocket. I have an inscrutable power source. Ha <laughs> ha! What wonders cling to you, my friend. There were only two in this whole region, and I destroyed one so Inquisitor Lim would not make off with my marvelous dragonfly. See, I'm awesome. The other was with the Lotus Assassins, but the fools only used it for demolition. Now, here you stand with it. I will put it in the Dragonfly, and it will be ready to go. Good, good, good. Hmm, not the ideal placement. If it shook more, the heavens might think we were afraid and take pity. This is more stable, but not as fun. Okay, she's ready to go. Hop on. I know a nice safe landing place just outside Tien's landing. Very unlikely we'll crash. Oh, the memories. As long as it's just about a zoo. But what about Ru? He's waiting to take me back. Don't worry about that. When the marvelous dragonfly takes off, the earth shakes and the sky trembles. You can't miss it. We're talking about Ru here. Your friend will see us take off, and he'll head back to town on his own. Okay then, let's get out of here. Ha <laughs> ha! Everybody on board! The marvelous dragonfly is about to take flight! Oh dear. Let's roll. Here we are with space invaders again. At this rate, I'm going to gain a fear of flying. Well, not necessarily fear of flying, more like crashing to my death in flames and such. Give me that.
Oh crap. Give me that. Stay away from me. Oh, somebody give me a health bonus. This is a good time. Yes. Oh god, I suck at space invaders. <laughs> The end. Oh yes, I <laughs> survived. Just about. That's not my finest hour. So full of fail. This new flyer seems nicer than the one we took from Gal the Lesser. Although, I'm really only judging by how shiny it is. A poor guess, I'm sure. Probably not. No, no. The marvelous dragonfly is superior to the amber mosquitoes I foisted on Gal. And actually, the shinier, the better. The heavens like their glory reflected. A shame I can't leave it on the ground for all to see, but I'm not going through all this just to have it stripped to the frame by local brats. I'll call it back if we need it. How do you control it from this distance? Well, it's much like the dilemma of the centipede. If he relaxes and lets things happen, he can walk naturally all day long, his hundred legs not missing a step. But if he thinks too hard about the complexity of what he's doing, those legs might crash into the tea house and kill everyone. A valuable lesson. Very valuable. I will speak to you when I am ready to make use of your machine, Kang. Is there anything you need? I'll do whatever I can to help. I mentioned how you are, Donstar. Is anything bothering you? I am trying to feel good about what happened at Gao's fortress, the lair of his pirates. We just really had to. We went looking for our master and perhaps another flyer. What we found? I was not prepared for how cruel people could be. Seeing those people with no control over their fates, it is similar to a pain in my past that I have not thought about for a long time. You don't speak much about your life before the school. I would not dream of saying my experience is similar to those poor people in Gao's fortress. But that lack of control, I know that well. One of the only things I know about myself is that on the morning I was born, the sky was red. Like distant mountains were on fire. Perhaps it was dirge burning, as Zoo said. I believe it was an ill omen, and that stigma is why my abilities became a burden. That's why I must have been left at the school. To be subject to the whims of someone else just because of what you are, be you slave or outsider. Yes, I know that well. I'm beginning to feel some of that myself. Please go on. Yes, you are an outsider too, albeit one with power to change your world. I think the slaves in the pirate lair would greatly appreciate your skill in defense. <laughs> me too. And I would make great use of your confidence. You inspire me to think of the possibilities, not just the problems. That's what I'm here for. I'm gaining an appreciation for the person you are becoming. Perhaps we should speak on these matters again sometime. <laughs> Goodbye for now, Dawnstar. Flirting with me. Be well, my friend. Alright. I don't have anything new to say to me. What do you want? I want to learn more about you. The Guardian wouldn't like me talking about that. He's busy now. The other is hurting. And he's keeping him inside. All the evil that has been done makes him stronger. Oh. This other is hurting you? I... I shouldn't say. Just by naming him. Thinking of him. It draws him closer to the surface. Gives him more power. 
The Guardian said that in all things there is balance, and for light there is dark within each of us. The other is his darkness, for the good he has to do. That's what he says. The other is like the Guardian? I can't talk about him. Already he hears me, and the Guardian is having trouble keeping him back. Please, don't mention him again. Okay. The Guardian is my friend. He's a part of me. But the other is a part of me, too. Sometimes they pull so hard in different ways, it... I can't... Oh, wildflower. <laughs> Sorry. Are you okay? I try to be strong, and the Guardian gives me hope. But sometimes it's all I can do to convince me I'm still myself. Well, will you stay with me and keep me in my Oh, wildflower, of course. I'll help you, Wildflower. Thank you. I'll try not to be a bother. But the Guardian says we must stay with you. I hope you'll be my friend. Of course I will. I'm not going anywhere. Is there anything else you wanted? <laughs> Nothing right now. <laughs> we'll talk again later. Okay. Such a cutie. Alright, we'll leave it there for now. When we get back, we shall... Have a talk around the camp and see if Zoo has missed me all this time. Stay with me. <laughs>